Can you see it? <laughs> that 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 was me when I was five years old. <laughs> I know you you usually uh, show a picture and the participants take about the picture, right? Right. It's a man with a car. <laughs> he he knocks on the uh, on the light on I don't know the backlight and uh, it's. It starts working uh, suddenly, you know. <laughs> It's a truck, right? Truck, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. Someone's popping in. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me and see me okay? Yes, I can. Okay. So, you're going to be my first person that comes live today. And usually I do the quote by myself, but I thought you might be an interesting person to talk to about the quote. So, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let me switch the camera around and uh, we'll get started. Okay. Ooh, I know that guy. Okay, so let's see. Let's go straight to the quote. We're going to do inspirational quote, meme, and all that good stuff. So give me a moment to focus, and I'm going to ask you to read it in just a moment. Okay, let's go into focus. There we go. Okay, go ahead and read it, Chloe. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. Hmm. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. So, who do you think said this quote? Any guess? Jim Rohn. <laughs> I like Jim Rohn, but I think you'll like this person even better. I'll show it to you. Me? Uh, J.K. Rowling. And who is J.K. Rowling? Uh, the art... Arthur of Harry Potter. Okay. And what book are you on right now? The Order of the Phoenix. Okay. And do you know what book number that is? I forgot. And is it uh, is it one of the best ones or is it just a good one? What do you think? That's probably one of my favorite because to me, the first book, The Philosopher, Philosopher Stone, I think I said it wrong. Um, it's like, to me, it's like they're too young and it's like too naive for the story. But then at the Deadly Hallow, the last book, um, that one, I think it's just a little bit too boring because probably too much blood and too much acting for me. <laughs> and I think I rather, uh, if I had to pick one story or one audiobook or a movie to watch, With for a whole year, I would probably do the Order of the Phoenix. Okay, so someone in the comments said high five. I love Harry Potter too. Woo! Okay, so oh, we're out of focus. Come back, J.K. Rowling. Oh, there. Okay, so she's the one who said this quote. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. So, Chloe, what does bravery mean? Bravery mean like bravery means that. Um, Is it usually a good thing or a bad thing? Sometimes both depends on which situation. Okay, and have you heard the word courageous? Yes, oh. but I don't know what it means. <laughs> well, it means the same thing as bravery. So, can you tell me something about this quote? Because they say it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies. What does stand up to mean? Stand up to is like, to me in my way, like handle them by yourselves. <laughs> okay, so the enemies are probably doing something we don't like. So we stand up to them and we face them and we confront them, right? So that's kind of obvious. We need bravery for our enemies. But the second part says but just as much to stand up to our friends. What do you think about that? 
Do we need to be brave with our friends? Yes and no. Please explain. Well, mostly probably yes. Okay. Uh, well, personally me, um, I usually don't hang around a lot of people usually. I'm just like usually at home and just like creating gotcha and doing all my studying because I'm homeschooling. So then it's like I'm not really experiencing so much as friends so much, so I can't really say. <laughs> okay. Well, stand-up means to kind of protect your way of doing things, right? So I, we won't say names, but I know you had a friend recently who kind of caused you some headache, right? Yeah. And we won't name names. That's okay. But – uh Sometimes we have to stand up to our friends, even though, you know, they're our friends and we're close to them. We still need to make sure that we uh, are able to do things. Okay. All right. So, do you have anything else you'd like to say about Harry Potter? I think someone in the comments asked, what do you think about the Prisoner of Azkaban? Really? I don't know what kind of word I should use it. Because it's kind of like um, the, I think it's a creature, something like that. Uh, it's demen dementors. It's like they, they're hooded, and when they come into that area, um, then the air is usually really cold. And at the movie, it was actually really like the sky was really dark. Okay. And so I think I would call it a... Uh, a soul-sucking story because <laughs> they usually, uh, I think, I forgot which one, but I think that if the Dementors give you a kiss, then you, the, the, it's, it says that it's much worse than death in Harry Potter, and it says that it sucks out your soul. Okay. So, it's pretty weird. Okay. Well, thank you for coming and talking to us about the quote who, and J.K. Rowling was the one who said it. Can you just read the quote one more time? And then we'll, I'm going to get rid of you, and we're going to do a quiz. <laughs> okay. Uh, it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. Okay. So I'm going to switch back around. Woo! Here I am. So thank you for coming and talking to us about this great quote from J.K. Rowling, 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 however you say it. So right now it's time for everyone to have a quiz to see if they were looking at the, at the quote. So I'll see you, see you later, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, so now it is time for the quiz. And I'm going to review the quote one more time to make sure that you guys see it, and then we'll start the quiz. Here we go. All right. So this is the quote. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. Hmm. Okay, so let's do the quiz. All right, and let's see, I need to refocus here. All right, so the quiz. If, let's see, focusing. If we stand up to someone, we, A, please them, B, jump on them, C, confront them. What do you think? What is the answer? If we stand up to someone, we A, please them, B, jump on them, or C, confront them. What do you think? This is the, qui the quiz from the quote that we just read from J.K. Rowling. Oh, I see some answers coming in. Ooh, mixed answers. Ooh, let's see what's happening. Ooh, a lot of C's, one A, C, C. Someone changed their answer. <laughs> Okay, confront them. Okay. Oh, that's right. I got to play the music. Ah, almost forgot.
Someone put V? <laughs> okay, so that was a little bit of music. And let's get right to the answer. Someone put V in the comments. I don't see a V in the choices, but thank you for the joke. <laughs> okay, here we go. If we stand up to someone, we see, confront them. Right. So stand up to someone. It's just a phrase that means to confront them. Maybe they did something that we don't agree with, or their behavior is a certain way that we don't think is good, and we need to address it. We need to talk to them about it. So J.K. Rowling said it's very e well. We have we have to use bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. All right, and that was J.K. Rowling. Seems like a pretty intelligent lady. Okay, so once again, the answer was C. Way to go. All right, I'm going to turn around and explain how things are going to work this time. Okay, so we did the quiz. And this time we're going to the meme, but I thought we would do it a little bit different. Um, I just brought uh, Chloe, my daughter, live for the quote. So I thought I would bring someone live to do the meme. Mm. Now this meme won't have motion, but it's a meme. And I'm going to bring someone live, and then you can, uh, we'll do the meme together. Okay, so let's see who we have looking to join. All right, so let's see. Let's try, I guess, Rockstar0790. All right, let's see what happens. And we're going to do the meme together. We're going to review what is a meme. Okay, someone is here. Hello. Hello. All right. Can I get your name and where you're from? Uh, I'm from India. From India. Okay, and your name? Sumit. Sumit. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Michael, and I'm from the United States. And it looks like the connection is not really working so well. Yeah, I can't see myself. <laughs> that, that's no good. <laughs> okay, well, how about we do this? Um, I'm going to end the connection, but put in a request, and we'll try one more time, okay? Okay, okay, fine. All right, let's see if this will work. All right, Rockstar Osindi. Oh, 0790. All right. Okay, so let's see if we can find Rockstar 0790 again. What he puts in the request, or else I can look for him. Let's see, Rockstar. All right, so I'm searching for Rockstar 0790. I don't see him yet. Let's see where he is. If he puts in request, we'll try again because the connection wasn't so good. All right, I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. If he doesn't come, then I'm going to have to pick someone else. Let's see. Hmm, hasn't come. I'm going to wait just a little bit more, and then I'm going to pick someone else. So, Rockstar, I don't see you. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next person. All right, let's go. Oh, there is Rockstar. Okay, we'll give it a try. Okay, so we're going to try it again and see if the connection is good. If it's not, then we'll, we'll end it and we'll go to the next person on the list. Okay, let's see what's happening. Still, I can't see. Yeah, okay. Well, thanks for trying, and maybe next time the signal will be a little bit better. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's go to the next one. Next one on the list is Aman Deep Singh. So, it says Am Aman Deep Singh is unable to join. Okay, Akib Latif. I click it, but it says unable to join, so it doesn't work. All right, let's try Ashti. Ashti, waiting for Ashti. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. It's waiting for. 
Rushdie. And once again, the person who comes live, oh, they declined. It's funny, they put in a request, but then they decline. All right, so we're playing the game. All right. Uh, let's try Mar Max Sarlis. Okay, I'm trying to get someone to come live, but it's not happening yet. We'll see what happens. Hello. Hola. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Can I'm fabulous. Thank you. Can I get your name and where you're from? Uh, I'm from Indonesia. My name, you can call me Max. Okay, Max. All right. And can you hear me and see me okay? Loud and clear. All right. So, have you seen uh, my live before? Or do you know what we're going to do? Well, actually, this is... This is the first time I, I've been trying though, but it seems like you're busy, um, you know, choosing a right, peop, a right person, I guess. <laughs> so I guess, I'm, I, mean, I guess I'm lucky tonight. <laughs> but have you seen, have you watched before? Uh, this is my first time. Okay, well, welcome. And so what's going to happen right now is I'm going to show you a meme. Do you know what a meme is? Meme, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that uh, nowadays meme. <laughs> right, so it's a picture, probably a little bit funny, and it has words on the top and the bottom, right? Okay, right. so I'm going to show it to you, and then you will describe it to me, okay? And we'll talk about it. Sound good? All good. All right, All right. I'm going to turn the camera around, and we'll get started. Here we go. All right, just give me a moment to readjust it and focus. And we'll get to it. Oh, hold on a sec. Okay. So, can you see it? <laughs> that 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 was me when I was five years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So before before we do the words, tell us about the picture. Um, bodybuilder wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> right. I see, uh, okay. I see a, um, a famous tire commercial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, well, yeah. Uh, he, was, he was exactly like me before. I mean, I was as chubby as this little boy anyway. <laughs> okay. And w how could you describe, what is he doing with his arms? <laughs> Flexing it, but I don't see a muscle. <laughs> <laughs> right. And how about his clothing? How could you describe his clothing? Oh, goodness. Uh, skimpy. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, who... Not very tempting, though. <laughs> And what kind of what kind of athletes use this kind of clothing? Ah, I, I I can I can only think of two actually. Uh, either res, wrestler uh, wrestling mm -hmm. and weightlifting. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, okay. probably a swimmer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if. I, get, I would agree with you on the wrestler and weightlifter. The swimmer would probably have difficulty. <laughs> uh, okay. is, I'm so bad, huh? <laughs> no, no, you're just fine. You're fine. Okay, so we described the picture. How old would you say the boy is? Six to seven. Okay. And so he's holding his arms up like he's trying to flex, but like you said, there aren't any muscles there to flex, right? But sure, he has muscle, though. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to. <laughs> um, well, I'm a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can just say it how it is. Okay, how about this? Let's go to the words. Can you read the words on the screen for the meme? Yeah, um, I'm on a, I'm on a seafood diet. I see food and I eat it. It's, it's, uh, oh. yeah, it's, it's like, uh, so, 
what do you call this? Uh, tongue twister. Kind of, and it's yeah. also kind of like, kind of like a joke. What is the joke? Yeah, <laughs> I'm on a seafood diet. I see food and I eat it. Uh, yeah, um, obvious. This is obvious. Uh, well, he's on a he's on a diet, but but only seafood. But other than seafood, probably would just yeah yeah. Well, take, if if, yeah. if we talk about this one, the first one, seafood. Can you tell me what seafood is when it's spelled this way? Seafood. What do you, uh, right. what do you mean? What, me to describe what, the seafood or? Or give me some examples of seafood. Oh, uh, okay. Fishes, shrimps. Um, Maybe lobster? Lobster, yes. Um, right. Um, what else? Uh, here in Indonesia, I think, um, I forgot this, uh, what, do you, what do you call this? Um, some, some people eat octopus. Yeah, 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 <laughs> octopus, octopus. But if you, if you use octopus, I think uh, people might think that uh, it's, it's a big size of, what is this tiny one? What do you call that? Yeah, it, I I don't know I don't know what it's called, but I've seen them, and I just call them mini octopus. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what the they probably have an official name, but I'm not quite sure on that. Okay. Okay, so that's what seafood, and the second one has the same sound, but it's seafood. So yeah. what does this mean? <laughs> oh yeah, that, I know I got it. <laughs> That's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Seafood and sea seafood. Well, right. I don't know. I cannot even pronounce I cannot even dif differentiate the, the 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 way you pronounce it anyway. I don't it's know. It's the same. It's the same. It's same, just it's spelled different. Right. Okay. And C. in this one Oh, someone in the comment said uh, Diplin in English said Colmar is mini octopus, maybe. So maybe that's what it is, Colmar. Yeah, another, someone in the comment said another, mini octopus is Colmar. Ah, okay. So, How do you spell that? He said C O L M A R, and I'm not really sure. Let's see. Oh. So seafood in this way, when it's spelled S E E and then food, it's just. We use our eyes <laughs> to look at food, right? Okay. <laughs> and then seafood, S-E-A, is just like crabs and octopus and stuff like that. So the joke is that the two words sound the same, but they mean something different, right? Right. Uh, so he's on, uh -huh. okay. he, he's, on a, he's on a seafood diet, but he probably is not worried about crabs and shrimp and octopus. He's more on the diet of I see food and I eat everything I see. <laughs> I, I, well, I hope he's not allergic to seafood as well. Maybe that's the way he avoid the, I don't know, just saying. <laughs> uh-huh, right. So this is the meme, and I'm just going to quick review the definition okay. of a meme. Let me find it here. Let me move it up. All right, one second. All right. So a meme is is something such. Oh, how about this? You go ahead and read it. <laughs> Tell everyone what a meme is. Okay, a uh, meme is something such as a video, picture, or phrase that a lot of people send to each other on internet. Uh, right. So. But Today, here, this is, but, go ahead. But here in Indonesia, meme can be very dangerous as well. And is it in Indonesian language or is it English word? 
Well, somehow nowadays, uh, I, I don't want to discuss about politics though. Some somehow <laughs> they, you know, you know what I mean, right? I mean, they they put a mean, very mean memes in order. Uh-huh. To, yeah. Now, now in Indonesia, my goodness, you know, um, so many uh, memes that. It, <laughs> Well, I don't want to discuss politics, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but but every time I go live, I show one meme and okay. they have meme memes on every topic that you can imagine, right? Uh-huh. From politics to babies to sports to food to everything. And I usually stay away from politics <laughs> because it's just a very hot potato, which yes. is like a very controversial topic, so But actually, actually, I just want to share you in in here. There's actually uh-huh. one that um, someone actually share the memes, and I think because of one share, like I think it it followed by thousand people as well share, and this person now is in the prison. Yeah, <laughs> we have <laughs> maybe. Maybe so, we won't share share that one. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I just ma- somehow I'm just making fun of, of that little boy. I'm, I'm I don't want to be accused as, uh, you know, <laughs> I didn't mean it. You know, I know it's <laughs> it was just it was just you who dragged me into the situation. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I I will be the evil one. <laughs> <laughs> But the the purpose. The purpose I would say is innocent. Yes. Now yes. because sometimes there are words that sound the same but they're spelled different and they have different meanings and they have different situations and contexts. So <laughs> I mean we can say the boy is overweight and you can just kind of say, say say how it is that's kind of a nice way to say it. Um but the joke is that he probably has a very big appetite and he likes to eat a lot of food. Yeah. Right? That was me back then. <laughs> Well, that's a good example then that just because kids are chubby when they're little, they don't always stay chubby when they get older, right? Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I need to move on. All right. You, I want to say thank you for coming live thank and you. uh me. I've been trying <laughs> some I'm lucky tonight. All right. You're welcome to come back in the future and uh salam datang sampai jumpa. Hey. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, <laughs> thanks man. I appreciate okay. this. Okay. All right. All right, thank you. Take care. Bye. Right. Take care. Okay. So, it's time for the quiz. See if you guys were listening. Let's jump right into it. All right. Okay. Woo, it's the quiz. It's the quiz. Let me refocus. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready for the quiz? I'll say it and then I will play the music. Okay. What? So, mm, is a kind of is a kind way to say that a kid is fat. A. Chubby. B. Rowdy. C. Unruly. So once again, the question, mm, is a kind way to say that a kid is fat. So what is the question or what is the answer? Here comes the music. Okay. So let's make sure we're in focus. And here we are. There we are. Okay. So the answer is chubby. Right. So we can use the word chubby if we're describing someone who looks like this because it's kind of rude and very mean to just say they're fat, right? Even if it's the truth, Sometimes people many times people don't want to hear the truth, right? 
So if you have to say something, you can say chubby. And another way to ask the question or to do the sentence is chubby is a nice way to say that a kid is fat, right? Okay. And rowdy and unruly are quite similar. If we're talking about children, they're kind of wild. They don't want to stay seated. They want to move around. They don't follow the rules. So that's what rowdy and unruly mean. Okay. All right. So let's get into the pictures and stuff. And we have a theme today. Mmm. The theme. <laughs> See, I wrote, I tell you, I wrote on 99 says, my sister is chubby. <laughs> I'm sure we all know chubby people. Okay, so the theme for today is traffic. So a theme is like the topic. It's what we're going to be talking about. So I'm going to flip back around, and we're going to bring you guys live. All right, and we'll talk about some stuff. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's see who is waiting to come live. All right, let's see. I think we have someone. I see Saddam Deng, he keeps saying unable to join, so I can't pick. I'm not sure what happens with Instagram. So we'll see Dipling English. We'll try. Okay. We're waiting. We'll see. All right. Aro Taya Roa 99 says Jakarta is so traffic. Uh huh. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Can I get your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Sharifa, and I'm from Russia, originally. Okay, so, uh, спасибо. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. And, Пожалуйста. And, Пожалуйста. And one more thing, let's see. Stravstoycha, как вас зовут? Yeah, I already answered the question. <laughs> okay, all right. So, um, are you familiar with what we're going to do today? Um... Well, I've seen your live just once, uh, okay. and I guess we're going to describe the picture. That's right. Okay, so the idea is that pre pretend that I can't see the picture and describe it to me. And if there's any difficulty, I'll help you out, okay? I'll do my best. Great. That's good. Good attitude. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to switch the camera around and give me a moment to refocus. Here we go. All right, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Oh, my God. To... <laughs> I'm going to try to focus. Okay, whenever you're ready, tell me what you see. Um, okay, I see a guy cosplaying a panda. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so he's kind of moving or dancing uh, in the street, and I see a house uh, on the back side of on on the back side of the picture. Uh, well, the roof is gray, <laughs> and the house is gray as well, uh, and the street looks pretty empty. Uh, there is a pillar on the right side of uh, of the picture. Uh, and a tree or a bush. <laughs> okay. Um, well, there is only one window <laughs> uh, that is uh, that is seen um, on the picture. So that's it. <laughs> I, I don't oh. see anything else. Okay. And are you ready for me to ask you a few questions? Yeah. Go ahead. Can you describe the the weather? Um, well, the weather is just the same as in France right now because currently I'm in France. <laughs> uh, yes, so the sky is gray. Uh, uh, no sunshine. No. Uh, yeah, it's cloudy, I guess. Uh huh. And uh, parlez-vous français? <laughs> Uh, we all do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I think when you first started describing the picture, you mentioned that it's a he. And I'm not trying I, to argue. I'm just trying to make conversation. How do we uh, know it's a again, he? Please? Oh, the panda. Uh, he. <laughs> How do we know if it's a boy or a girl? Um. Well, it's just first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> 
Sure, sure. Yeah, you have to choose, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so inside could be a man or a woman. Is that possible? Of course. <laughs> as long okay. as we have two sexes, yeah, it can be male <laughs> or female. <laughs> okay. All right. And um, would you say this house is very luxurious or how would you describe it? Uh, it's an average house, I would say, because if it, if it was luxurious, uh, it would probably have a uh, second floor. <laughs> sure. Uh, and probably a big fence protecting from envy people on the street. <laughs> <laughs> and keeping pandas out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And I think you mentioned before uh, the pole or a post. And we can't see the top of it, but I think this is either a light pole or an electrical pole. Uh, looks more like an electrical one. Okay. All right. Um, and I think you mentioned a tree and bushes. Mm -hmm. And... Let's see, uh, what is the panda standing on? How would you describe that? Oh, uh, it's called, uh, not cement, but um, yeah, com concrete. <laughs> well, we have a few options. We could just say the street or the road. Um, the roads, another option, yeah. we could also say pav pavement. Mm-hmm. And if it is cement, if it's made from concrete, then we could say cement, but we're not quite sure. Um, anything else before I put it in motion? Um, okay. All right. So take a moment and watch, and then tell us all about the new information that you receive, okay? Here we go. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, that was epic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, All so right. that was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right, the panda's dancing, but what else happened? Oh. Uh, so panda used to be imprudent. <laughs> so he didn't, <laughs> not, he didn't notice a uh, car approaching him. Uh, yeah, so the car actually hit the panda. Um, okay. I'm not sure if he's going to recover from this accident because it looks <laughs> like a really tough one. Right. And um, can, you, can you describe the vehicle? Uh, yeah, it's a pickup car, like maybe Jeep. Uh, and it's pretty common uh, for Americans. <laughs> Americans love this type of cars. <laughs> right? Big uh, truck, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So the, car, the truck is really big. The um, vehicle is big with big wheels. And it uh, looks like um, the velocity was also high. Uh-huh. So you could say the truck was traveling at a high rate of speed? Yes. Uh-huh. And uh, why do you think the panda chose to dance on the street? <laughs> <laughs> God knows. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he was just recording a video for his uh, cosplaying fan page. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Right. And um, later, when the police come, who do you think they're going to say is responsible for the accident? Um, well, uh, if I were a policewoman, I would say Panda is responsible because, uh, first of all, when you cover your head, uh, you have to be really observant. Uh, to look on the right side, on the on the re on the left side, especially if you are standing on the road. So mm, he or she <laughs> wasn't wasn't observant enough and wasn't prudent enough. Uh huh. Right. Very good word, prudent. Okay. So if this, well, I guess one more question before I ask the, another one. 
Do you think this is a real accident? Mm, yeah, so, so so much strange stuff happens in the world. I think, yeah, <laughs> it probably took place somewhere, maybe in America, because the house looks like an American one, and the vehicle as well. <laughs> uh huh. Right, and it's it's possible also that the police might say that the vehicle was at fault. Uh, the <laughs> reason, the reason, and it's going to depend on the jurisdiction. It'll depend on the state and the location and their laws. But I can, in some places, they might say, "Why didn't the vehicle slow down?" <laughs> mm -hmm. And and even though the panda shouldn't be in the street. Uh, <laughs> The the, res the responsibility of the driver is still to watch out for things that happen. Because imagine if you could go crazy and run over everything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um, and if this was a movie, what title would you give it? Um. Oh my God. Oh. American, American Idol. <laughs> yeah. Smash. Uh, I'm, here's a simple one I'm thinking. We could just call it The Unfortunate Panda. <laughs> Panda, yeah. Okay. All Panda right. Got wild. <laughs> right. Or maybe it's a safety video Don't Dance in the Street. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, do you have anything else you'd like to say before I move forward? Uh, yeah. Um, watch out for pandas is uh, is another name for another title for the movie. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think that's pretty much of it. Okay. Well, thank you for coming live. I admire your confidence, and very well done. Thank you. Thank you for accepting my request. All right, and I guess we could say, uh, well, depend. We could say, uh, "Das Fidania or maybe "Bonsoir." Yeah. Is it evening yeah. there in France? <laughs> Bonsoir. <laughs> Bonsoir. It comes to the night time. Uh, bon okay. journée. Uh, that okay. would be better. So you bon. you wish a great day to a person. Bon journée. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you too. Bye. Right. Well, bye. Okay, all right, let's see how, how I'm doing on time. Uh, I think someone in the comments had asked, uh, do I only do lives with people that haven't gone live before? And it depends, because the requests come and go, and if they don't work, I will still pick someone that has come live before. So uh, we're going to do the quiz. <laughs> we always have a quiz now. So let me set it up. Here we go. Ready for the quiz and the music? Da, 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 the quiz. All right. Let me get it ready. I have to adjust the quiz. Oh, no, not that. Okay, here we go. Here is the quiz. The driver of the truck probably what? Pandas, all right, we're going to focus a little bit better. Uh, give me a moment, be patient. Okay, not too bad. Okay, let's see the choices. The driver of the panda probably pandas. A, enjoys, B, hates, or C, wants to eat. <laughs> so you guys choose. I will play the music. Okay. So the answer, most likely, because we didn't, 
we didn't get a chance to speak with the driver, right? <laughs> but I think most people would say, B hates. And it is possible that the driver is crazy and enjoys pandas so that he can, you know, kill them. <laughs> or enjoys being mean, but I would probably say hates is probably the most likely answer. Maybe he's the driver is very strange and wants to eat pandas. Who knows? But I think the best answer here would be B. Okay, let's switch back around. All right, and the glasses will come off in a moment. All right, I'm looking at my timer, and Instagram is going to kick me out. So it's that time. Let's. Well, I'm going to stop this live, and I'm going to restart it in about just very shortly. So I'm going to end this one and then restart it. So you're welcome to come back, and I still have two more pictures to do. And we'll go live, okay? All right. Okay, we're live again with music. Let's see if anyone comes back. All right, key in English, here we are. Request right away. Well, let's hop into it. Okay, let's see. Whoop. Let's see, here we go. Whoop. All right, here we go. Let's see. We'll try. We'll try Ashti. At the top of my list, so we're going to give it a try. Let's see, waiting for Ashti. We'll wait a little bit. And let's see. Okay, let me get my picture. Oh, someone's coming. Hello. All right. <laughs> okay. Can I get Hello. your name? Hello, your name and where you're from. I can't hear you. You, ca you can't hear me? Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah. No, I'm here. Thank you. All right. So what is your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Ashti. I am from Kurdistan region of Iraq. Okay. Uh, so you would speak Farsi, right? No, I am speak Kurdish. 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 Okay. Do you so in in, Kur in Kurdish, you would say for thank you, supas. Is that right? Supas. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Supas means thank you. Okay. All right. So, do you know what we're going to do today? Uh, I'm not sure because I was driving when I sent a request, <laughs> so I I didn't see the light, but. I know you you usually uh, show a picture and the participants talk about the picture, right? Right, right. And I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Michael, and I'm from the USA. So nice to meet you. And nice I'm going to gonna sh I'm going to show you a picture. And here we go. Okay. All right. How is the connection? Okay, I'm going to turn turn the camera around and show you a picture. And okay. when. It, let me just adjust and focus. Whenever you can see it, whenever you're ready, go ahead and start. I'll, yeah, yep. it's a man with a car. Okay. And yeah. what else? And um, snow. It's not clear. Uh. <sighs> okay. Um. Yeah, it's a man with a car and the weather is snow. Right. Ah, uh, 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 sorry. Okay. And hey, what is the man? Uh, what What is the man doing? <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't hear you very well. Let's uh, see. Me what you said. Oh, I just said, what is the man doing? I don't know. Maybe he is freezing. I don't know because not okay. uh, the picture is not clear for me. Maybe right. it's of my bad connection. I'm out and uh, my connection not very good. Okay. And what is he standing next to? Next a car. Okay. A and car. Yes, right. There's snow. There's snow. Okay, so what month of the year do you think it is? 
I do. All right. Okay. What? Maybe. Uh huh. Go ahead. Yeah. What did you say? Um. What? How about this? What season is it? What season of the year? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the connection's kind of coming Maybe in and January? out. Maybe January. Yeah, I can hear. Ah, uh, it's uh, it's it's winter. Right, winter. Right, with all the snow and everything. And what what country do you think he's in? Hello, do you hear me? Yes, our our connection is not very good. So yes, my I, connection is very. I'm going to have to cut the connection. It well, the connection is not very good. I'm going to have to it's cut it so that. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's yours or mine, but um, you're welcome to come no, back I'm... in the fu in the future. Okay. I I hear you now. Okay. All right. So let's see. That was kind of the connection was kind of in and out. <laughs> Dipling English said there are no bears in the street though. <laughs> Okay, so we didn't quite finish with that picture. So let's see who else is here. All right. Oh, I think I know this guy. I think I know this guy. Let's see if he comes live. Key in English. I remember you. Let's see if he joins. All right. Hopefully our connection can work. All right. Let's give it a try. It says waiting for a key in English. I don't know if he set down the phone, or he's coming, or what. And the picture is ready. Let's see. We'll wait a little bit longer, and we'll see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So still waiting for key in English. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. We're connecting. Here we are. Hello. Hey, Michael. <laughs> Hello. How, how are, are you? you? I'm great. I'm good, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right in, and it's the same picture because we haven't done the motion yet. Are you ready? All right. You know, I didn't, I didn't see the part where you were talking about that picture, so I can, you know, I can talk about that as well. Wonderful. All right, so here it is. Okay, so what do you see? Um, I can see a man uh, standing by his car. Okay. He, he's wearing a he's wearing a black coat, and uh, you know, uh, he's wa. Uh, I mean, he's looking at uh, the car, which is behind his um, his own car. Um, maybe the person who is uh, taking a picture or uh, the. Uh, filming, and in the background, I can see some uh, apartment, some snow. Uh, you know the um, the ground has been covered by snow, and okay. I can I can see a um, road sign. I think. Um, okay. It's yeah, it's above the car, and. The car is black as well, just okay. like the man's coat. <laughs> right. And yeah, I can see a tree um, um, on the on the left side. So um, what else? It must be um, winter because there's some snow uh, on the ground. Uh huh. So. Can um, go ahead. Okay, do you have any questions? Oh, if of course. Yes. Of course, I have. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> can can you give me some possible countries where this could be? Countries. 
I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe France or um, I don't know. Maybe Russia. And this is or, quite a bit, quite a bit of snow. So we have to think of countries that you know have a lot of snow. <laughs> okay, countries like Canada or Russia, maybe um, like uh, Sweden. Uh, Uh, Iceland, right, mm. right. But, you so, know, I'm not sure. It's just, just a <laughs> wild guess, right? And I think uh, if I'm looking at the comments, Dipling English says it's Russia. I think she recognizes the uh, the license plate number. <laughs> But just with Maybe. this amount of snow, it, it I say Russia would be a great possibility. So where are they stopped right now? Do you think they're in a parking lot or in a street? Uh, something might be wrong. Maybe uh, his car is not working, so uh, he's trying to um, to ask for help. Okay, sure, very possible, right? Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? So I'm gonna yeah. play it and let you tell me what happens. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he he knocks on the uh, on the light on I don't know the back light and uh, it it starts working uh, suddenly I don't know. <laughs> so what is he? Where is he going to turn next? Turn. Right, uh, he's his... gonna turn turn left because. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the 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 light that doesn't work it's on the left side of the car, so uh, he is possibly uh, going to um, take a left. Right. And what do we call that light that now is is flashing on and off to let everyone know he's going to turn left? What would you call that? A guide light. That's the right idea, right? I think what most people would call it is a turn signal. I'm going to put it on the screen. Okay, I've never had that before. So, turn signal. Uh, sometimes they'll say indicator light. Mm -hmm. And um, I would think more common people would say, "Okay, I'm going to turn on my turn signal to let people know I'm turning." And right. <laughs> so. You know, What I is, don't. Uh huh. I don't know many uh, vocabulary. That's and that's why I can't uh, say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, let's say it the other way. Don't say I don't know. Say I'm still improving. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm I'm improving my English. Right. And so, in a short way, how would you say what is wrong with his car? Um, his car. Right. Uh, why I did he it's... have to get out? I don't know. It it's acting crazy <laughs> because you know you, uh, it, it, normally uh, you know lights don't uh, don't work like that. You know, right. it just taps on it and it starts working. <laughs> right. So the magic solution was to hit it with his. What kind? What part of his hand did he use to hit the light? Uh, his palm, right, right. His palm on on which hand, right or left? Right. And you know the uh, funny uh, thing is that um, I'm sorry, I, I lost my track of <laughs> track of thoughts. <laughs> I was, you know, I was going to say something, but I forgot it. Oh uh, no worries. And you can say Starfish I lost memory. my train of thought. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I, I I lost my train of thoughts. Yeah. And can you tell what is the emotion on his face right after he taps the light? Is mm, he's, he's cheerful maybe? <laughs> <laughs> right. 
And what do you think the person thinks who is recording the video? Mm, maybe, <laughs> uh, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's um, stunned or astonished because, uh, you know, he thinks, maybe he thinks that uh, um, it's impossible. <laughs> it's if impossible to, you know, just tap on it, uh, a light and um, it just starts working. Right. If if we brought it to a mechanic, what do you think the problem actually is? Mm, not sure. Maybe it's uh, a wire or something. It's um, uh -huh. it, it's. I don't know how to say it in um, English. Okay. You could say there's a problem Maybe, with the wiring. Yeah, the wiring. Maybe it's Or not uh, in Go the ahead. place where it should where it should be. Right. So you could say there's a problem with the wiring, or there's a problem with the wire connection, or it's just a really cold day and things don't work well in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> right. Somebody's trying to help me and see. Uh, he, you know, he is uh, explaining the problem in Persian. But I don't know you know what that means in English <laughs> <laughs> it okay, all right, it could also possibly be with the bulb too the the little blinker bulb that maybe the connection yeah, not maybe right the bulb. but yeah that's either way he, as well. he found a solution, but it's kind of it's kind of inconvenient to have to get out of the car at every intersection. <laughs> Right. Okay. So I'm going to switch back around. I think our connection is kind of acting a little. Okay. 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 All right. So let's see if that was the name of a movie or what, what would the name of the movie be if it was a movie? Mm, maybe the crazy light. <laughs> um. <laughs> I, I, I've seen other videos on YouTube that all have the title like, Meanwhile, in Russia, <laughs> and then it shows something crazy that happens in Russia. So maybe we could call this "Meanwhile in Russia." <laughs> <laughs> maybe. So. Maybe that's possible as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Anything else? Anything else to say before we get to I just, the quiz? No, I just want to uh, say thank you for having me on the call and. It was nice talking to you, Michael. Have a wonderful day, and likewise, uh, I'll be watching the rest of the live. Thank you. All right, thank you. You're welcome. See you later. Bye. Okay, the glasses mean it's quiz time, and here we go. Let me switch the camera, and we're gonna focus. And maybe we'll just have focus music as well. Oh, give me a moment to focus. Oh yeah, so long. Okay. All right, let's get the question in focus first, and then I will show you the answers. Here we go. What was on the license plate of the car? One moment. Come on, it can focus. There we go. Oh, the test. Who was paying attention? I'm going to give you three choices. Here we go. What was on the license plate of the car? Was it, uh, yeah. come on, here we go. Focus for me. Yes. Was it A? O three two four Y M seven six was it B A five four eight V N ninety three or was it C O three seven seven X W seven four and let me get it focused and then we'll play the music and you guys tell me what was the answer.
Oh, you guys seem to all have a similar answer. Woo. Okay. So on this this time it can only have one right answer. And the answer is A. So whoever got the answer right, way to go. And let's go back and look at the picture to make sure. All right. I know it's not super clear, but there it is. O324YM76. So the answer is A. O324YM76. Okay. All right. So that was the quiz. All right. All right. Let me get my next picture ready. Ooh. And let's see. Oh, quiz is over. Glasses off. Let's see who else is there. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's try Asun Chek Chekik. Chekik. Waiting for As Asyek. Asyek. As Asyek. Okay. Ooh, someone's <coughs> coming. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Can I get your name and where you're from? I'm from Turkey. My name is Aysun. All right. Teşekkür uh, ederim for coming live. And uh, you're welcome. <laughs> my name is Michael, and I'm from the USA. So it's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hello and again. Do you know what we're going to do? Yes. And nearly 13 minutes. I watching uh, what's happening there. Okay. So I'm going to show you a picture. And we're going to start now. You tell me about it whenever you can see it, okay? I hope I can. All right. <laughs> All right. Yes, you can do it. All right. Give me a moment to focus okay. and prepare. All right. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, I saw one and one car, the red car, and one taxi. Red ta red car is, um, I think in. Is a taxi, and um, one car, one car, and traffic. I saw, <laughs> right? And one, one big. Oh, how can how can I I say? Um, tra tracking maybe. Oh my goodness! Uh -huh. I I forget it. <laughs> no and worries, traffic. no worries. <laughs> you're do you're doing great. You're doing wonderful. Okay. Okay, thank you. So. So I think you said what was this one right here? Yes, tracking. Yes, I think, but I guess I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a truck, right? Truck. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> yes, and so what color? Yeah. Right. So what color right. is this car right here? Red. Okay. This is red. So what else? What else do you see? Um, I see the roots. And the traffic lights, and, and uh -huh. white, white. How can I say on again? And tap on the uh, floor and white. Um, oh Th this right here. <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> it's you, sure. <laughs> Well, see, you were able to communicate enough for me to know what you were talking about, which is great. And I would just say it's the side line on the road or the the tra the white line on the road. <laughs> right. White line on, on the road. Okay. <laughs> here. And here, I'll type it on the screen. It's the, uh, let's see, one second. Let me move it up so we can see it. You could say, I'll give a long explanation for it. <laughs> okay, thank it's you. It's the white line that indicates, that indicates. The, the edge of the, the lane. And the lane is the car lane. It's so long sentence. <laughs> <laughs> so how white about we line skip that all? indicates the edge of the car lane. Okay. Right. So how about we just say the white line? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the white line. Yeah. Oh. It's it's okay for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I so short sentences. 
<laughs> okay. Can you tell me about the weather? Um, it's, um, I, I guess, uh, I just guess, um, I think weather is, it must be in the winter, um, dark hair, uh, because uh, sun is gone. Maybe the rain, uh, but I can't, um, I'm not sure. Maybe the rain uh -huh. it, it was there. And if we can't see the the sun, but it's still daytime, I'm going to start typing a word and you tell me when you know it, okay? So I would say okay. right now it is, oops, C-L-O-U-D, yes, <laughs> cloudy. <laughs> Right, it's cloudy. it's cloudy. I forgot. Yes, thank you. Yeah, no, no worries. Now you remember. Thank okay. You, thank you. And, and so it's difficult. It's difficult. We can't see the sun. But if you had to guess, what time do you think it is? Uh, maybe um, night eight, uh, twenty. Yeah, twenty p.m. Okay, so like eight p.m. Or uh, 8 p.m., yeah. Okay. Or and 20. Uh, 20, right, if you use that time, right. Let's see. Can you tell me there's a red light here, there's a red light here, and a red light here. What are the function, what is the purpose of those lights? Um, stop light. Ah. When, when we <laughs> use the, um, oh, I forget again. <laughs> Stop light, well, yes. Just I, well, I know that I need that. Well, the stop light is actually the light up here. And traffic the red... light is the same meaning? Yes, right. Stop light equals traffic light. So the red lights on the car are called the brake lights. Brake lights. Okay. Right. I learned. And... I learned just because I, I didn't know that. <laughs> It, right, sure. And to break means to stop, right? Okay. And and it's good to let the people know behind us know that we're going to stop, so the lights light up, right? Okay. Thank so you. you you could probably say this picture is kind of boring, right? <laughs> exactly. We we always in the same pictures, same uh, time. We always live in Istanbul. <laughs> Always. Ah, okay. So are you ready for me to make this picture exciting? Okay, I'm ready. All right. I'm, I'm so excited uh, also. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the flying <laughs> truck. Flying <laughs> so what? Yes. So tell us what happened. Uh, fly crash and one fly uh, the down on the down <laughs> the plane uh -huh. down <laughs> right and what happened after the plane went down a uh, very big bang <laughs> <laughs> um, right everywhere is fire <laughs> right and fire clouds i think very so, big. what do you think the people will do next? And um, I think all people, and it's really, uh, um, it must be. Oh my God! Um, uh, worry, worried, and and uh, scream and sad. All right. people, I think. Right, and. Is the picture more exciting now? <laughs> no, no. It's boring uh, uh, too again, but uh, this time, this time um, it's very, um, I'm really screaming. <laughs> right, right. We can say it's excitement, but it's a bad kind of excitement. It's very depressing. Yes. It makes us sad. Someone probably got hurt. So if we Maybe wanted to say... someone in the die. Yes, you're right. Someone's so, dead. so re repeat after me. The plane crashed into the intersection, and there was a huge explosion. 
the plane crashed into the intersection and there was a hot explosion. Right. Huge. Huge. <laughs> Huge. Right. Right, right, yes. perfect, huge explosion. And do you know what is an intersection? Um, I, I think I don't know. Into the intersection. The intersection, no. intersection. Yes, I can. The intersection is the place right under the traffic light. So... Uh. So it's where the cars have to stop and they can turn left or turn right or go straight. That is the intersection. Okay. Or we could, say, we could say this, the intersection is a place where two roads come together. Okay, I right. got it. Intersection. Right. The new word So <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so... Uh, how long do you think it will take before they're able to move their cars? Um, maybe, I just guess, isn't it? Right, just guess, it's fine. Okay. Maybe, um, oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a guess. <laughs> and this is an emergency, right? It's a big emergency. Exactly. Exactly. And what needs to happen next to try to fix um, things? Who will come? Call nine one one. <laughs> <laughs> right. And who is going to come? Um, who is really knows what hap what what they do that? Who is really know? And um, who do you think? Policemen. And firemen. Ah, right. Right. So the all come, right. And probably uh, the ambulance? Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. And probably to a uh, soldier, maybe. <laughs> it's sure, it's possible. We don't know. And would you say, can you describe the size of the airplane? Uh, it's it, it uh, it's really um, small. Okay. Maybe one or two person inside that. I think uh -huh. inside the plane. Right. And but uh, can I you don't know the name of uh, the plane. Uh, how can um, which kind of the plane? I don't know the name. I don't know either. I would probably just say it's a small plane with maybe two or three people. Yeah. Maybe one even, yeah. I guess two, yeah, and, yeah. And can you see that the plane it hits the traffic light? Sorry, I, I can't understand. Um, oh, because my the, the is gone. <laughs> oh, okay. the The plane hit the traffic light, and the traffic light moved a little bit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. R right there. Right. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so if this was a movie, what title would you give the movie? Uh, I think this movie is impossible movie. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> science fiction, <laughs> because yeah, it's possible exactly. We know all of uh, know that uh, it's possible, but it's a very big and ex um, crash, uh, and nobody wants to do. Uh, and whenever uh, time, whenever wherever. Uh, nobody wants to do life, real lifetime, the, um, leave that. Mm? It, it's, right, it's right, right. But maybe, I would maybe... Uh, action uh, movie. Ah, yes, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> horrible. <laughs> action and horrible. <laughs> right, it, it, could, it could be a, uh, an action movie, and maybe later there will be guns and gangsters and... <laughs> Yeah, possible. It, it could be exactly. Or if we wanted to be more serious, we could say something. It, this could be like in the newspaper, right? A horrible uh, and unfortunate accident, right? Yeah. Can Can you think of another way to say horrible in English? Uh, in English, horrible is um, 
I forget uh, you, you know exact I know but I forget the words maybe I just um, try to explain <laughs> the scream and the ter terrific oh, no not terrific um, it's very bad right um, with uh, scream and set I think Okay, I'm going to start typing a word and you tell me. Oops. One moment. Okay. Okay. Tell me when you know it. Terrific. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible, right. And yeah. it just means it just means really 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 <laughs> really bad. bad. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Terrible. So very very well done. See, we were able to make it through. I'm going to switch back around. I'm, I'm really sorry uh, who watching we, we uh, who watching we are uh, who watch us. <laughs> I really I'm really sorry because my English is and uh, gone and long time ago uh, I uh, leave the practice. Uh, I never done. So can <laughs> can I give you long time ago. Uh, can, can I give you a small piece of advice, a tip? Please, thank you. Okay. okay. One is that many times I see people, they say, my English is bad, I can't speak, I can't do it, it's bad. And I urge you to switch it and say, my English is improving, it's getting better, I'm improving. <laughs> yes, I fight, because... I fight it, I fight it, <clears throat> but uh -huh. sometimes... Uh, when I want to uh, um, remember the word, oh, oh my God, how, how can I say it? How can I explain? <laughs> Where is words? Where is words? Which words? Which words? It's so crazy. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Believe me. That's well, why if you uh, want to... I'm sorry, all of uh, who watch us. <laughs> no, no need to apologize. It takes a lot. I admire your confidence because it takes confidence to come live. Way thank to go. You. Thank you very much. Okay. See you. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see what we have. Uh, of course, it's time for a quiz. Guess what? This quiz has two questions. <laughs> okay. All right. And if you can't tell, these glasses are fake. But, okay, let me switch around, and we're going to do the quiz. Let's see if you guys were paying attention. Let me, give me a moment to focus, and we will take the quiz. All right, whoop, I know that guy. Yes, there he is. Give me just a moment, and we will take the quiz. All right, I'm going to focus. All right. Quiz time. Here we go. All right. First one. The airplane crashed into the A. Meadow. B. Intersection. C. Playground. All right. Time for the music. Okay, now I'm just going to jump in here quick and say, that music was perfect <laughs> for the drama of the situation. Okay, so let's see. The airplane crashed into, the answer is B, intersection, right? And I remember we talked about that when we were talking with the lady. And very well done if you're still watching. Thank you for coming live. I admire your confidence. Okay, so the answer is B, intersection. The airplane crashed into the intersection. A meadow is like an open area in the grass. Uh, there's probably long grass and maybe weeds. Uh, let's see if I can show a picture. Try to find a picture of a meadow. 
Let's see. Okay, I'm going to try to switch. Aha! This is a picture of a meadow, right? I can make it a little bit bigger. So you have like wild flowers, long, long grass, stuff like that. This could also be a meadow. Just a big open area with like long grass, right? There you go. Okay, so let's go back. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what a playground is. But what the heck? Let's look at a picture of a playground. All right, playground. Right, so where kids play, they play at the playground. Yeehaw! Right? So we know that a meadow and playground are incorrect, so the answer is intersection. Okay, so guess what? This quiz has two questions. Here we go. All right. Ooh, this one's a little bit more difficult, and I'm going to try to focus, make sure you guys can see. Give me one second. Okay. So the question is, what was not in the picture? Ooh, let's see if I can test your memory. Here we go. Here we go. What was not in the picture? A, a green car. B, a red car. C, a yellow car. What was not in the picture. Oh, time for the dramatic music. Okay, all right, so what was not in the picture? And I think I'm going to have to make these questions more difficult because every <laughs> everyone's getting it right. Okay, so you guys are awesome. A is the right answer. I did not see a green car. Let's go back and check to make sure. I see the red car. I see a yellow car. And there's a truck, and there's kind of a gray car, but no green car. And let's just see it one more time when it's in motion. Pow! Right, that's kind of a wild one. Okay, so let's see. A green car was not in the picture, so the answer is A. Okay, so we had a busy day today. We did an inspirational quote. We explored a meme. And we did pictures and GIFs. And GIFs are just images that move. Right? They're not quite a video, but there are a few pictures that move, and it makes it look like a video. And today's theme was traffic. <laughs> we did some wild traffic. Let's just quick review what we did. Oh, I'll just show the videos. The poor panda. And then we did the uh, <clears throat> the traffic the traffic signal that he fixed with his hand, right? And then we also did the exploding plane, the crash, right? Okay, so let's see. Uh, before I switch back around and do my traditional goodbye, I just want to remind you, tomorrow I will be live on YouTube, and you can find us at youtube.com, AbleLingo. I will put a countdown, and then once again, Make sure to improve your English and become more valuable. And I keep saying, I'm going to flip back around. I keep saying to you guys, I, I know when you come on, there's a lot of pressure and you're maybe a little bit nervous and you want to apologize. I don't speak well. I can't do it. I forget it. There's a lot of words with not. No, I can't do it. It's not working. It's not. A simple trick is to flip it and say, I'm still improving. I'm still finding the correct words. I'm still learning how to say it because it's like it opens up your mind to more possibility. If you say, I can't do it, no way, then it's like a door that shuts in your face. So I say, I'm still improving. Okay, all right, time for the traditional goodbye, as many languages I can. Let's start with uh, Arabic. Uh, say thank you. Shokran. Let's see, uh, E is uh, English, thank you. Uh, merci is French, German is Danke, uh, Hindi is Danyavaj, Shukriya is 
is uh, uh, goodness. Shukriya is Urdu, that's right. Uh, Arigato, Mr. Robato is Japanese, Indonesian, Terimakasi. Korean is Kamsahamnida. Mandarin Chinese is She She. Uh, Dolce is Cantonese Chinese. Uh, Gamsia is uh, Hokkien Chinese. Russian is Spasiba. Teshakur Ererim is Turkish. Supas is Kurdish. And Sepas is Farsi. And let's see what else we have. Russian, I think I said Spasiba. Uh, mm. Oh, uh, Obrigado is Portuguese. And oh, Spanish, uh, muchas gracias por estar con nosotros. Gracias, muy amable. Okay. And let's see. Oh, American Sign Language is thank you very much for talking with me and watching us live. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so I will share this live, and thank you very much. You guys did great. I think I'm going to have to get harder, more difficult quiz questions. <laughs> Maybe they're too easy. Mm. I will improve. Okay, all right, thank you, and have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, wonderful night, wherever you are in the world. And tomorrow I'll be live on YouTube, and then after that, next Sunday, I will be live on Instagram again. We're doing a lot of lives. You guys are great. Okay, see you later. Take care.